I'm on a beautiful beach in Yorkshire. The sun is shining and behind me, they're filming the brand new series of Old Jack's Boat. And I'm feeling very excited because I'm here to meet a living legend. Good morning. Yeah, I'm sorry, that seat's taken. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bernard Cribbins. Nearly got you then. How are you? I'm very happily sitting here, yes. Well, you're not going to spoil my day or anything. Yeah, are I'm you? going to try my, my, right uh, my very best. Off you go then. How can I spoil it? Look at it. I know, it's great, isn't it? It looks like you're having a great time. It is. It's a lovely location and, you know, this is middle of April and look at the weather. We have That's been true. so lucky this week, I tell you. So you're here filming Old Jack's Series Boat. 3 Old Jack's Boat, That's but it. this time it's called Old Jack's Boat Rockpool Tales. Yes, Rockpool Tales, which is different. Um, I mean, you must have looked at rock pools when you were a kid, did you? Absolutely. You see little crabs and things <laughs> in the seaweed. Um, and we've got some lovely stories about the creatures that live in the rock pools, and, uh, and that's what we'll be doing. And I think you're going to love it. I, I think they are going to love it because there's something a bit different about this series and I think this will be exciting for our viewers. Go on. It's not just old Jack we're going to meet, is it? No, you've got little Jack and you've got um, Sailor Sue. Sailor Sue. <laughs> and um, little Ernie. Yeah. There will it's, be looking, it's looking back to the sort of 1930s and uh, looking back at us when we were children. You've got, you know, then and now and, uh, and me talking about them, which is great. Has that jogged some of your memories then, seeing these little ones sort of act out uh, well, look, look, looking, looking at the clothing on them, I, I was taken back to when I used to wear short trousers, you know, which <laughs> is a um, long time ago now. It's a long time ago now. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You, yeah. you were born and brought up in Oldham? In Oldham, right? yes. Born and bred there and worked there until I was, oh, I don't know, until about early 50s when I left, yeah. So as a child, I remember the television I watched and for me, you're the Wombles. Yeah, and Jack yeah. and Ori. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah. what were your sort of memories um, of that kind of thing? Was it Children's radio? Hour on radio is my main memory of any cultural activity when I was a kid. Content, they had Auntie yeah. Muriel and, and Uncle whatever it was, you know, and uh, <laughs> a series, I think it was Toy Town, the series, with Mr. Mayor and Larry the Lamb. Yes. That's really all I can remember. When did you realise that performing, acting, that was what you wanted to do? During the war, I was in a little play at the local rep um, and thought nothing of it. And the producer, who was a dear man who's long gone, God bless him, Douglas Emery, spotted something in this 10-year-old or whatever, 12-year-old, I suppose, um, got in touch with my parents and said, if any little boy's parts came up, would I be allowed to go along and play them with the company, the professional company? And I, in fact, did about three, I think, three different plays while I was still at school. We left at 14 in those days, and uh, I was offered a job at the local rep as assistant stage manager, dog's body, and, um, and small part player if they came up. At the age of 14? Yeah. And I went along and became a professional, you know. What was your first big break? Big break would have been, oh, much, much later, I was working in Hornchurch in the rep there. We were doing St. Joan, and I was playing the English soldier in the epilogue who has a little song and dance. And a guy called Lionel Harris was mounting a production for the Arts Theatre in London of the Comedy of Errors. And a friend in the company said, go and have a look at Cribbins, who's in this thing at Hornchurch. So he came out there, he looked at it, liked what he saw, and I got the job playing both servants, the Dromeos, and nicked all the notices and everything. It was lovely. And that was my first <laughs> break in the West End. You've had a long career. For me, you were Jack and Ori, the Wombles. Mm. For other people, your character in Doctor Who, and for my parents, you were those old films. Yeah. So it seems like you've been able to reinvent yourself for a different generation. I and think, now I think I've just been lucky that I've been around when those sort of jobs have come along, you know. And Jack and Ori was hugely popular. I'd certainly like to know why my fans haven't come to rescue me, Madge said again. When we started um, doing Old Jack's Boat, I said it would be nice if the actual stories can be just like Jack and Ori was, yeah. with that intense me, yeah. and, me and you, nobody else, just you, just us, and I'm telling you a story. And uh, it, it, it does work. I mean, that communication to one child down the lens is, is what you need. I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her old grandmama, she's going to taste like caviar. 
I mean, 40-year-old people come up and say, oh, I remember when you did you know, Alice in Wonderland or whatever it was, and I was yeah. lucky because I did Alice and Wizard of Oz and Wind in the Willows and things like that. The mole had been working very hard all the morning. You know, good classical stories. And also, what a show-off job doing Alice in Wonderland because you've got all the characters. Absolutely. So you can do all the silly voices. Can you remember the voices? Um, Edith Evans was the Red Queen, I know that. Oh, off with his head, oh, up there. One of those, you know. Oh, my goodness. And then you've got, mm, check a cat, and all the rest of it. I mean, they tell you how to do it anyway, don't they? The yeah. characters tell you, really. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was lovely chopping and changing between all those, you know. Ah! Said Mortimer, joyfully on seeing Arabelle. And he made his way to her as fast as he could without actually flying. What do you love about this character, old Jack, that you've created? Well, he's got good stories to tell. That's uh, the main attraction, I think, was um, being back in Jack and Ori again, but with a beard and a funny hat, you know what I mean? And a dog, <laughs> a lovely dog. And it's an old granddad figure, I think, basically, yeah. you know, who is a nice old gent who is, um, seems to be nice to everybody. <laughs> no, he, it's just a very pleasant little programme, and there's usually a bit of information for the kids, a bit of interest, you yeah. know. Uh, that's it, basically. It's very, my... And we're all very beautiful to look at. Well, of course. Find out when we add new clips and build a playlist especially for your child by subscribing for free to the CBeebies YouTube channel.